Inside the fish's head, there is a bone, or rather an ear stone, which we use to age the fish. And it's more accurately known as an otolith. We use these otoliths to determine the age of the fish in years. Fish ear bones? Cool. When I saw it, like the ear bones, they were just wow. Because I've like I never thought a whale would have an ear bone or a fish. Just like we have ear bones that help us with balance, orientation, and sound detection, so do fish. In fact, there are three pairs of otoliths that lie deep inside a fish's head next to the brain, one of which is too small to see in this x-ray. And as Chris pointed out, they are not true bones, but known as stones as they continue to grow throughout a fish's life. Every year, a unique layer of protein and calcium carbonate is laid down on the otolith surface, creating rings. And by counting these rings, scientists like Chris can determine a fish's age. So now you might ask, where does Chris get these otoliths? The otoliths get to our lab from the surveys that we conduct during the summer. We send teams of scientists out onto commercial fishing boats that we contract, and we fish in the Gulf of Alaska and the Bering Sea. We separate all the fish by their species, we weigh them all, we measure them all, and we figure out if they're boy fish or girl fish. After that, we decide which fish do we want to take otoliths from. We take the otoliths out and we put them in a collection vial, and then we ship them down to Seattle. Sometimes Chris can see enough detail on the surface of the otolith to count all of its rings, but usually he cuts them in half with a scalpel blade and then roast them in a toaster at 500 degrees for about five minutes. Burning the otoliths really brings out the rings so Chris can make the most accurate observation possible. 